Welcome to Land Musings. Today we are setting up the pages in my Hobonichi weeks for the month of June. And yep, I am still consistently using this Tragen cover. I'll pop the video I have on this cover right here for you if you're interested. And let's just get straight into it. And I've already popped in some dates and plans in my future log. And I'm a little late in setting up my June pages. And that's because I honestly just didn't have any new pet tape to play with. Um, but my friend Lindy gifted me a roll of pet tape by Mr. Eggplants. So that is what we will be using today. And it has been a while since I've done one of these plan with me videos and also just setting up my planner um, because I kind of prepped them all before my trip in April. So it's been like two months since I've done this. So bear with me while I try to find all my stationary bits and pieces and um, my essential items for my setup. The first thing I've noticed here that I want to fix is I was planning for a road trip this weekend but we decided to save money and just I guess do a staycation for the long weekend and this cream correction tape is so handy I keep it in my Tragen as one of my essential items it's just the perfect cream shade for the Open HE Wicks And as you can see, I've already stuck down my monthly sticker. I think I did it for the whole year. But I will just show you my month's sticker sheets. This one is the medium size. Um, what I've got stuck down there is the large size. And also every month I stick down my Aussie holiday stickers in my months and weeks pages. This one is all bent. <laughs> um, but that's okay. It's still usable. Set that one aside, and I believe that the only public holiday we've got for this month is the king's birthday, and that always sits on the second Monday of the month. So I'll just pop it on the 10th here, and I think this is the last long weekend we have until November for the Melbourne Cup Day, which does suck because. We cancelled our road trip and we might not be able to get that opportunity again with a long weekend until later in the year. But I am just rambling on now. What I'll do is I will speed through this video for you. I have just noticed I have these April Fool's Day stickers in my Aussie holiday sticker sheet. So I'll just stick those down. Okay, I think that's enough for the Aussie holiday stickers and now we get to do the fun bit which is decorating the pages. And I have already fussy cut these but I will just show you a whole loop so you can see what it looks like. This is the one that my friend recently gifted me and I am so very grateful <laughs> to have a good friend in the journaling community. So that is the Mr. Eggplant's pet tape and it is called Little Journey. I'll just grab the ones I have fussy cut already and I do this for your benefit because I have previously done videos where I am actually cutting the pet tape um, in these plan with me sessions and it just takes too long and I felt like there was just too much pressure so I have cut them in advance here for you. But before I stick those down, oh, oops, I just want to figure out what I want to pop on the border on the left hand side. So I've got this tape here, which is also by Mr. Eggplants, and I think that will suit the theme for this month. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down and also place these decorative pet tape stickers on the page and I will see you on the other end.
Okay, all my decorative elements are down and I am loving the look of it, it's very scrappy. So now I'm going to stick on my media log heading stickers. So lately my husband and I, we've been consuming media in the form of TV shows, movies and music. It looks like I've run out of my TV show stickers, so I will do that later uh, when I grab a new sheet. But for now, I'll pop down movies. Just want to be consistent with my last few months. I think there's a gap. Yeah, there's a one grid gap, so I'll pop it here. And this is where I would place TV shows. I might stick down music. Actually, I don't know if I did that last month. I'm gonna stick that down here because I did listen to Taylor Swift's new album and also Billie Eilish's new album. And I think it's nice to be able to flick through back in your month's pages and um, kind of remember those months by the media that you've consumed I find that that's a really good gauge or um, a reminder of what was going on in your life during that time of the year I really like how that turned out it's simple but also um, it's got a rustic feel to it just going to flick to the first week of June this is bookmark I don't even use it anymore I think I might just take that out last year i cut off the little string bookmark things and so i needed the tags but this year i kept them and they're actually quite handy so i'll never do that again i'm gonna go ahead and stick down these hand stickers i've specifically chosen the hand designs for my week's pages i'm just gonna stick them on the bottom right hand corner because that's where less of my functional notes go in my notebook. Okay, and now I'm moving on to my months in themes page which we all know it's my favorite page of my entire notebook and i have chosen this sticker specifically because it is the hands design and it is actually the perfect size at least i hope so it feels like it is the right size I took my time there and I am glad I did because it is stuck down perfectly. I really like the look of that. And then the notes pages, if you're not familiar with my setup, it has my monthly logs and I have been using the Eisenhower matrix and it usually starts with a monthly dashboard which just has the number of the month and the calendar and some decorative elements. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my stamping and my decorating and hopefully you have your planner out as well and uh, can follow along.
and done. I like that. Looks good. Next item is the Eisenhower Matrix. And this is what I use to help uh, migrate my tasks from month to month and also prioritize them. And this sheet here is my Eisenhower matrix sheet so I can stick down the headings and I've really enjoyed this way of categorizing and managing my migrated monthly tasks it helps me know straight off the bat what I need to action as a priority and also the less important items in my monthly task list. That said, I believe with the Eisenhower matrix, um, you're supposed to kind of remove tasks or delegate tasks using this method, but um, I don't do that. I just kind of deprioritize them. And I don't usually do this, but I might in this video just do a migration of the tasks because there's nothing too um, private here um, but I will fast forward because you don't need to watch me write. <laughs> Okay, so that's all the tasks migrated from May to June. And now what I usually do is I have my annual tracker and my cleaning tracker. And I will just reference those and migrate any tasks into my Eisenhower matrix. And I just flick through the other pages and check if there are any other tasks I can migrate for this month. And if there's anything I need to update. For example, I ended up getting my Google Pixel watch, so I will just cross that one off. I think my stationary purchases list is up to date. I've also got my date night log, which I do need to go back and fill out. But yeah, that is generally my migration slash bullet journal method for my Hobonichi weeks. I'll just do a quick flip of the June pages that we set up today. I'm really liking how this turned out. It's minimal without being too understated. And on the week's pages, we have the hand decorative pet tape, this ordinary sticker, and then more hands. I just think they look really cool. And the last decorative piece is my June dashboard. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me in setting up these June pages. I hope you had your notebook or journal or planner out too and decorated and planned along with this video. I have been wondering if um, I should continue with these plan with me videos because they are very similar month to month. Um, the only thing that really changes is the pet tape or the decorative elements that I use. Um, but it seems like you guys are still engaged. I'll play it by ear. If I do stop the plan with me videos, I do have a whole bunch of other planned videos lined up. So please subscribe if you don't want to miss out and want to hear more about stationery, journaling, planning and all that good stuff. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.